Hey guys, this is the man in the flannel back again here to bring you yet another fun and exciting video. And yesterday, I filmed three episodes in a row uh, of unboxings. But we had our first true blunder occur uh, in filming yesterday. So, as I was filming the third episode, well, actually, actually, I got through filming the whole thing. And then... At the end, after I hit the stop button on my camera, uh, my phone, which for those of you who don't know, I just film these videos uh, on my phone and then directly upload them onto YouTube. It's, you know, the whole shtick of the show is that it's very raw, it's very organic, it's very unedited, uh, it's, just, it's just good stuff, you know, it's just one take, you know, try to get it right without messing up. And that's what leads to so many uhs and ums while filming. But regardless. So, my phone just stalled and just froze after I stopped filming. I hit the stop button on my camera and it, that's what caused the freeze. And so I had to restart my phone and in restarting it, the video got deleted. And since it was an unboxing video, you really can't do a second take of that. So thus, there was about eight minutes of good footage that was forever lost in the abyss. And it upset me. But today we're gonna try to combat that with just taking the games that I unboxed yesterday and just sort of giving an overview on them, talking about them, I don't know. So this is just gonna be a bit of a ramble on the two games that I unboxed in that video yesterday. Now, the first of these games is Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, this is the complete edition with the two episodes from Liberty City of The Lost and the Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. Now, uh, in talking about this, let me go ahead and preface this by saying that this is the first Grand Theft Auto game that I'll ever truly play. I've, I mean, I've played them in the past, I've been in the room while other people were playing them, but I've never really sat down and got into a Grand Theft Auto game before. And so, to be honest, out of all the games that I bought um, when game shopping recently, this was the one that I was most excited about. This whole package. Because I've heard so much about Grand Theft Auto games and never truly gotten a chance to experience them. So I am looking forward to this. So let's go ahead and just take a quick overlook at it. Here we have uh, our main character from The Lost and the Damned, from Grand Theft Auto 4 itself, and from The Ballad of Gay Tony. I'm assuming that's Tony. Uh, down here, rated M for Mature, which, yes, for the love of God, if you are not 17 plus, or if you are not mature enough to play this game, without it messing you up in the head, then you shouldn't be playing it. That's that's my little soapbox ramble. Anybody who says, oh, well, my four-year-old is now emotionally scarred from playing Grand Theft Auto games, well, they're not mature. Don't let them play it. I'm not 17, but I'm mature enough to play a Grand Theft Auto game. It's that simple. So, let me step off of my soapbox. And uh, let's just take a look at this. It's in the it's in the nice posh greatest hits red case, which a lot of collectors don't like, but I don't really care. On the side here, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Episodes from Liberty City, Region 1. And then on the back, screenshot from 4, Lost and Damned, Ballad of Gay Tony. Evan on the back. Yeah. The whole spiel. Oh, uh, okay, I guess that's not Tony. It's Luis Lopez. And that's that's Nico, I know that. And I'm guessing that's Johnny Klebitz? Klebitz? I don't know. I'll get into it <laughs> more. So down here we see only one player. Network players 2 to 16. Uh, 6200 megabytes of hard drive space required. It outputs in 480p, 780p, 1080i, and 1080p. Really? 1080p? Where is it from? Um... Uh, it says 2006 to 2010. Really? 1080p? Huh. 2010, I, I could kind of believe, but... I don't know. 1080 it's just it's just kind of a taboo thing, you know? Well, not a lot of uh, uh, PlayStation 3 games output in 1080p. 
Interesting. Or do they? I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's just a big deal now, this generation of everybody's like, oh, it's not 1080p. Well, you know, who cares? Uh, open them up. Here we have the Liberty City Travel Guide, which uh, just gives you a rundown of all that you need to know, I'm assuming. I'm guessing that's that's Lewis. Or maybe it is Tony, who knows? And then the, that's Johnny. Okay. All right. So, welcome to Liberty City, all that jazz. And then this, I'm not going to bother unfolding, but it is a gigantic map poster thing. One side of it's a map, one side of it is a poster with the Grand Theft Auto 4 and ep episodes from Liberty City uh, logo on it. So, yeah. I don't know which, I don't know if I'm going to hang that one up because it is ginormous, so it would take up a lot of real estate. And then there's the disc. And, uh, yeah, so that is Grand Theft Auto 4. I am looking forward to playing that one. Uh, very much so. So the other game that I unboxed in this in that video yesterday was the Jack and Daxter collection remastered in HD. Now I don't typically do two uh, unboxings in one video, but this was the only copy that the store had, so it was already half open. They just had it like sealed off here, and there was a sticker up here. This is actually not the case that it came in, because the case that it came in had the sticker on it, and I tried ripping it off, and so it got ruined. So this is actually, uh, uh, what, what did I take this off of? I think I took it off of uh, Virtual Fighter 5, maybe? It's, it's an older releases case, you can tell by the old style uh, PlayStation 3 logo printed up on there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here we can see there is uh, Jack and Daxter, off, ripped right off of the box art from Jack 3. Uh, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, and uh, Jack and Daxter 2, or Jack 2, I should say. Uh, e through 10, 3D compatible, Sony Computer Entertainment. Jack and Daxter. I'm not the biggest Jack and Daxter fan in the world. I've played most of the first one, never finished it, and I played a little bit of the third one, and I've never played the first one, or second one. So I am looking forward to diving into this. It wasn't really my thing too much. When it comes to platformers, I'm more of a point A to point B. This is very uh, Banjo-Kazooie-esque. But it's, it doesn't have a charm of Banjo. So it has the gameplay of Banjo, which I didn't much care for compared to other platformers of its time. But it doesn't have the charm of Banjo. It has its own personal charm, but it's just not there on the same plateau. What got me through Banjo-Kazooie was the charm and the characters. And I almost got through that one with its charm and its characters getting through the gameplay that I'm not really too crazy about. With the uh, wild, I don't want to say collectathon, but the, the the style of it from where it's a non-linear open world sort of thing. And then on the back there, the dynamic duo was back. I'm running out of time here. Uh, yeah, only puts out in 720p, that's okay. And then we open it up, we see our, our disc there, and then we have our instruction manual. And as I knock the game over, which is actually a real instruction manual and not just an online manual. And if you take the disc out, you can see, that's nice, the covers from all three original games. So, uh, well, that was pleasant. All right. So that about does it for today. Just wanted to do sort of a, uh, a makeup video for losing the original video with these two where I actually unboxed them. This was more just sort of an overview and a looking and talking about them. So I'm very excited to play both of these games, although I guess it's all four of these games. Actually, no. All six of these games. Figure that out. So I uh, just wanted to do this and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. So be sure to comment, subscribe, favorite, do whatever you like, and I'll see you next time.